Hello everyone, this class is on uh, um, logic and epistemology in the psychological practice and uh, uh, this video is uh, just an overview of what we are going to do during this uh, semester. Um, the class is organized on three basic concepts, uh, being, meaning and truth. And uh, uh, we are going to describe the process through which uh, in our life uh, we come to the realization of what is true, of what is valid, of what is acceptable. And of course, uh, this truth uh, can be applied on our behaviors, of our thoughts, on our tastes. Uh, it's uh, what we consider being uh, normal, acceptable, valid. So in this class uh, we are going to study uh, from uh, uh, um, antiquity to modernity and contemporary thought, uh, how philosophers uh, uh, describe the transition from uh, our life, uh, from our being, from what we are, uh, to the expression of what we are, uh, the meaning uh, we uh, consider um, important for our life uh, and what kind of meanings uh, is accepted as normal, as valid, as true. Um, as you saw from uh, the program, uh, we'll uh, divide the class into this semester into three basic uh, chunks. Uh, so, in the first part uh, of uh, the semester, uh, we'll study Stoicism and uh, the way in which uh, Stoics uh, describe their logic. Um, then we'll move to uh, another kind of logic and epistemology, um, certainly a contemporary one, uh, but you, logic and epistemology, I gave you uh, to read a difficult book of but you being an event and I suggest you to read that book with the companion, the Cambridge companion aside in order to uh, become familiar with uh, uh, the main concepts uh, he uses. Uh, you'll find a definition of the word being, event, uh, conditions uh, and uh, you need to be aware of the fact that uh, these words uh, general, definitely have uh, a meaning that is uh, completely different from the common meaning that we attribute to it. So I strongly advise you to read that book uh, with uh, the secondary sources uh, aside. And uh, uh, another example of contemporary logic uh, will be phenomenological logic, in particular uh, Husserl. Husserl's logic, experience and judgment, and uh, Merleau-Ponty uh, essay on language which is uh, very interesting too uh, because it shows the layers that are underneath the expression of um, what we consider is uh, uh, meaningful. Uh, so in Merleau-Ponty uh, you would read uh, the um, cases, the study of cases like aphasia or hallucinations uh, and uh, um, the development of language in a child, which is very useful because it will show you the transition from the structure of Husserl's logic to the clinical practice. Um, in Badiou instead you will find a dialogue between logic and psychology with Lacan. Uh, Lacan consider, uh, considers psychoanalysis as a form of uh, um, logic, of literary logic, because uh, uh, psychoanalysis tries to formalize uh, complex uh, cases of daily life uh, and it tries to create types around this uh, complexity. So uh, this is uh, the journey we are going to take uh, and I hope you will enjoy this journey. I think that the readings are challenging, especially phenomenology and uh, uh, but you so again uh, I suggest you, I strongly advise you to read uh, the um, text uh, the primary sources uh, with uh, an eye on uh, the secondary sources as well. So, 
Thank you for uh, enjoying this class and uh, let's move on. Bye.